we continue looking at the concept of who is leading the church. And Paul takes it up a level now to look at the bishops. Now, we understand bishops as ministers or people teaching in the church. That's how we would understand that one. And the question we need to be asking ourselves is who is that person in the dark? Who are you in the dark? You see, there's a difference between a personality and character. Personality is who the world sees. And often we look at people who are very well known, very well liked, very outgoing, and we say, that must be a great leader. You would make a great leader in God's church. But that is not how Paul sees it. Paul wants us to look deeper. He wants to look at the character of the person. Truly understand who a person is before we give them the holy task of leading God's church. How often have churches been damaged by a minister or a leader who secretly has a very, very bad character, but they're pretty good in the front? Titus chapter 1, 7 to 9. For a bishop, as God's steward, must be blameless. He or she must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or addicted to wine or violent or greedy for gain. But he or she must be hospitable, a lover of goodness, prudent, upright, devout, and self-controlled. And it goes on to say, they must have a firm grasp of the word that is trustworthy in accordance with the teaching, so that they may be able to both preach with sound doctrine and to refute those who contradict it. This is quite a heavy list. But the most important there is, apart from character, they also need to be able to teach the Word of God. A whole church can be healthy if there is good teaching. It's not just about who's preaching from the front. It's about every level. Who is teaching the teenagers? Who is teaching the home groups? Who is teaching the children? Those are our bishops. And we need to make sure that we only trust those to the people who are most sincere in the faith who have those gifts. Just imagine for a moment, one Sunday, your minister can't make it. Now think of your leaders. Which of them would you trust to step in and preach the word? That's what it is to be a leader, a bishop in the church. And so we need to scrutinize people. We need to bring them into the light and understand who they are. And we need to look at ourselves and say, is my character becoming that where people would put and entrust the word of God to me? God bless and have a great day.